Hello? Hello? Welcome back to Foster the Meeple. Hello? Welcome back to Foster the Meeple! Ah! It's about to go down. Down. And we're in a new location, so hopefully things aren't janky. We cannot look at this. What? Look there. Look Jamie. at the camera, yeah, Jeffrey. Jamie. You're looking at that? I'm not. I'm looking right at the camera. I can't look more at the camera. Because if not, we're going to be like this the whole video. I'm Jamie, I'm looking right at the camera. Right now, you're in my eyes. You're looking at it. I'm this is why we camera. can't have a monitor. You're doing it. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> And welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. That's right. The day is upon us. The day is upon us. We are here to do our dice throne tournament. And what? I don't know what that pause was for. Dramatic effect. We are doing the outside bracket today. So we are going to be doing eight matchups. Four from season one and four from season two. Jeff and I have no idea who we will be playing as. So in order to choose our characters, we are gonna be rolling a four-sided die. If it lands on a one or two, one of the characters will be assigned to one or two, and a three or four will be the other character to mm -hmm. make it fair, because we do have preferences, but it's not about what we want mm -hmm. today. Yeah. It's about who is- The greatest hero. The greatest hero, yeah, the we ultimate should, hero. Yeah, we should reiterate, this bracket is all about who the best hero is. Yes. So it's not about- We are not heroes. Jamie. We yep. sometimes feel like we are, but we're not. Mm -hmm. Housekeeping items. Tiebreaker rules. So you can end in a tie in dice throw. So basically, there can be an attack and a defense where both characters die at the same time. In that instance, what we will do is go to a sudden death. So that means we are going to reset our health to 10. We will roll for whoever goes first, and then we'll play back down to zero. Whoever dies first loses. In the event in the sudden death that we tie again, because that is possible, Could happen. we will then go to our second tiebreaker, which is whoever had the most ultimates during yep. the entire game wins. If we are still tied, then we are going to go into a dice roll. Then we're going to fight literally just each other. We are going to start with our season one matchups. Now, for those of you who put in your brackets, I would like to wish you the best of luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. Mm -hmm. And just to reiterate once again, the winner of the brackets, once we get to that championship game, they are going to be winning one of the two battle chests of their choice. So mm -hmm. either season one or season two. What a freaking prize. We are also playing today on our official Dice Throne clay mats. I have They're the amazing. beautiful Moon Elf and Jeff has the Vampire Lord. Lord. And we are also gonna be rolling on the official Dice Throne dice tray. So thank you to Dice Throne for providing us with all the things that we need to have a fun, fun tournament. Are you ready for our first matchup? Let's go. All right, I forget. Do you have the bracket? We've come prepared. So our first matchup for season one is going to be the Shadow Thief versus Triant, two of Jeff's favorite characters. This is tough for me. Well, we roll for these. Let's say that Triant will be a one or a two and Shadow Thief sure. will be a three or a four. Would you like to roll for these ones? Sure. Oh God, I really want Shadow Thief. Wait, Triant one or two, is that what we said? Oh, thank God, okay. So I will be playing as the Shadow Thief and Jeff will be playing as Triant. It's, it's interesting though, because this just means one of my favorites is gu guaranteed to get through, you know? That's true, I suppose. All right, Jeffrey, tell us a little bit about Triant. Woe to you who awakens the forest itself. The Triant is the most elder of contenders. He decided he could no longer be a stick in the mud, weeping over willows. He chose to branch out, leaving his thicket behind with a sappy goodbye. He dug deep, packed his trunk, spruced himself up, and began lumbering ever closer to the true root of the problem. The Mad King. Wow. Talk about tree puns. <laughs> On to the Shadow Thief. Entering the shadows is my safe place, safe place to shank you. The shadow thief doesn't like to end things quickly. He prefers running the long con, increasing his health, poisoning his foes, hiding and striking from the shadows. That's his style. If allowed to reach the conclusion of his complicated game plan, his victims will find themselves in utter ruin. So just a reminder, we start with 50 health, we start with two CP, and then we roll to see who starts. 
My biggest thing is getting spirits out. So on my left here, I have different types of spirits which do different abilities. I can upgrade them. And with the Shadow Thief, he's all about a boat. Boot. Wow, that was very Canadian. He's all about poisoning people and kind of doing like sneaky sneak attacks, poisoning, mm -hmm. shadows, all of that stuff. All right, so we roll to see who goes first. Highest number goes first. Yeah, matter. Five. All right. What a great starting hand. Okay. Holy smokes. Wow, look at my starting hand. Amazing. Yikes. My turn first. Typically with your first turn, you would do an upkeep phase, but because this is round one, I do not get to do my upkeep or income phase. So I go right into my main phase, which is going to be playing some cards. Well, I'm going to start by playing Dagger Strike. So Dagger Strike Upgrade actually costs what? zero CP, which is kind of great for me, which means I, I can afford something else. I am going to actually use the card Triple Up for two CP, bop, bop, and that allows me to draw three cards. Ooh, and then with the card I just drew for zero CP, I can gain two CP. They're off to a great start in my mm -hmm. opinion. And now that I have two CP, is there anything else I'd like to do? Get them upgrades out. Yep, I am. I am going to upgrade Shifty Strike. This is insane. For two CP. This what a not, first turn, This geeks. is not a good start here. I think that that's everything that I'm able to do for my uh, main phase, so I'm going to go into my offensive role. Mm-hmm. Okay. Really? You have nothing right now. I have a small straight. My concern is that if you roll another one of them ghost boys, you can do shadow dance. Ghost boy. I'm gonna get you to re-roll this one. Ghost boy. Ghost boy. And same result. If ghost boy, I don't know what it's called, but if ghost boy was rolled up to one CP may be stolen from your opponent. Gonna do hit me with a twig. All right, so my health is at forty. This matchup, I think, is gonna be tough for you because I do, I do some demo. First of all, no matchup is tough for me. Do my offensive roll phase. Big money, no whammies. Ooh. damage to me? Yes. Down to 47. Going down even more. I freaking watch it. Sucker. And now I'm going to attack you. <laughs> Yahtzee. That is a Yahtzee. But it's not an ultimate. So. It's not an ultimate. Ten damage to your face. Well. Ten damage to your face. Move your nonsense. Move your twigs out of there. I get Branches. my ghost boys in. Okay, that's not overly helpful. So um, the two swords, I inflict poison onto Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Oops, you're a poison plant. I am going to pay one CP to play, not this time. Oh. A chosen player prevents six incoming damage. I pay one choose me? CP. Uh, no. I'll gain two. Why Trees not? can't just heal themselves. They're not Yes, salamanders. they can regrowth. Tree on, tree on, tree on, tree on. I'm not gonna do anything for my main phase. I'm jumping right in. My offensive roll. Ooh. Is that anything? No. One, two, I three, think... four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is that from? I think it's Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> so one times two plus one times one is three. Good math. Thank you. So I'm I down guess. to 46. I'm down to 36. A lot of people, I think, picked Shadow Thief to win it all. Do you think? A lot of people oh, did, I'm pretty sure. Bro, that's a lot of pressure. 
Jeffrey, upkeep, take your poison. Wait, I gotta do it in friggin' order, man. This could blow up in my face. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ow! Oh no. Now it's get nothing, eh? I think it's nothing. Ah! <laughs> That's how you play Dice Throne. You didn't, you rolled a stick. <laughs> I rolled a friggin' stick again. Friggin' That's stick, nothing. man. That's nothing, Jamie. That's nothing. I got nothing. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that is immediately a large straight. What did that do? Oh. Ah. Would you like to ask me if I'd like to Just adjust your dice? Time. Well, you have to ask me before you start doing these things. That's but the whole I was point. Just would you like to change any of my dice? I wouldn't. I just would like you to follow proper protocol. Nerd. Okay. Yes. One. 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 Five. Oh. Okay. So that is ten damage to you. Good luck. All right. I'm rolling three. Got my axe chopping you down. I prevent three. So seven total. Thirty-seven. That was fun for everyone. Where are you at? Oh, we are. We're like neck and neck. Neck and neck now. Or I'm going to use Vengeful Vines 2, which I've used before. So I inflict barbed vine. Um, excuse me, would you like to follow oh, proper protocol? Uh, <laughs> I knew that was gonna bite me in the butt. Here we go! Ooh. Every time you roll, you're like, ooh. <laughs> I know. Does, it's, the result doesn't matter. It's all exciting. Sorry, we I skipped I skipped into a main phase trigger. I need to go back. So I need to gain my seedling. I need to take the three damage. Yep. Protocol. So down to 29. <laughs> I regret saying <laughs> No damage. None for me. None for me. Okay. Second main phase. There we go. Shadow defense. So I uh, do nothing. You love to see it. I don't love to see Six that at all. Six demos to your face. Six? 29. 29, 24 for the update. And I will transfer a status effect token from myself to Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. I like that in apples. <laughs> So five. Ooh! Wait, what? Okay, so. What happened? I cast Stomp, and for every one of these, I add a damage. Uh huh. If I roll three, I also inflict Barb Vine, but you already have it, so that doesn't matter. But I'm doing five plus three, ten damage. I'm gonna do Shadow Defense again, it's the only way that I could potentially ignore the damage. No! <laughs> okay. Your tree is no match for me. Crazy. Two, three, five, six. <laughs> ah, it's funny. <laughs>
<laughs> Insidious Strike 2. Mm -hmm. I gain 4 CP. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm at 13, and I deal my CP as damage. Is there any... You can there's, defense it. There, do you want to change it? There's nothing I can do. None of this matters. This won't do anything, and I cannot defend enough damage. I'll roll just for the sake of doing it. Yeah. Defend one. Take how many? 13? Yeah. 12. I'm defeated. You did. Shadow Thief is the winner, which I think will make a lot of people happy. Yes. First, First matchup, matchup done. Shadow Thief versus Treant. Shadow Thief will be moving on to the next round. Wow, All right, wow, Treant, wow, wow. you put up a good fight. Just couldn't keep up. All right, everybody, round two is about to begin, and the second matchup is between... Barbarian and Ninja. Versus Ninja. Let's say that Barbarian is one or two, Ninja is three or four, and you rolled last time, so I'll roll this time. A four. So I get Ninja, you get Barbarian, which is exactly what I wanted. Jeffrey, tell us a little bit about Mr. Barbarian. Hacking, slashing, and mashing may not be elegant, but you know what? It works. Barbarian isn't the most elegant hero around. He loves to smash things. He is known for hitting his opponents so hard they are left stunned and concussed. His endless barrage of heavy hitting attacks shows that even the most simple fighting style can be deadly. Ninja, if you see me, it's too late. The ninja knows that victory is never truly certain, so she has spent countless hours to hone her craft. As a master of ninjutsu, she deals massive amounts of damage using unconventional methods. When she's prepared, she can even dodge incoming attacks with more consistency than any other hero. I love the ninja. Roll reversed. Again. Me again! What a day we're having. All right, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is play Train for zero CP and gain a ninjutsu token. All right, eight damage to my face, right off the get-go. To your face. 42. Ninja. I'm going for stuns every roll. Okay, let's see. Take your damage, or you're just gonna... Nope. How much was it? 12. 38. Jamie has a tendency to miss by about 10. I don't know how I do it. Playing dice rollers with Jamie is infuriating. I'm going for my ultimate. Didn't get it. I still have one more, more roll. roll. That's aggressive. Just doing it. Didn't get it. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. I am at 33. Jeffrey is at 35. We're both at 22. Oh, 22, 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Second main phase. I'm having terrible rolls. See, terrible, when terrible. it comes to rolling, that's a Jamie game. That's when it comes to cards, that's a Jeff game. That's mm. why I failed at Villainous, and I'm being successful at this. Deal 15 damage, and then I receive four in return. 15? Defense, defense, blah, 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 defense, sneaky, sneaky, wah, wah. But I'm just going to give you four back. So I'm taking eight from that. Yeah, and how many am I taking? Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. I'm down to One, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, is it twenty-two? No, that'd be five. Ten more. I'm at seven two. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. Seven seven. I need to survive this, or it's over. This is toit. Crazy. Can I deal undefendable damage? No. Go I for can. your ultimate. I can, if I get Sturdy Blow or Crit Bash. I can't, I can't miss. I have to at least do damage to you. 
Okay. I deal six damage to you. You just had this and then you re-rolled. You could have done nine. I had a small straight? Yes. Oh, damn. That's why I was like, ah. Uh. I was like, okay. That's me not paying attention. Yeah. So I deal back. Four damage. Four damage. <laughs> and I may re-roll any. So five damage. Okay, so we're both dead at the same time. But you only hit me for... For... Oh, you're at seven? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I am one and Jeff, I believe. Oh my god. If the math is correct, you died. I screwed up and missed a small straight, uh -huh. which would have killed Jamie uh -huh. at the same time she killed me. So unfortunately, I did six damage, which didn't kill her. She's attacked me back with her defense, which killed me. That means, my friends, that our second matchup winner god. is none other. The ninja! I couldn't get any yeah. stuns. Alright, that's second matchup. Ninja is moving on to round two. We are on to round three, or matchup three, I should say. And this matchup is between... Paladin and Monk. Paladin and Monk. Admittedly, not my favorites. So I really like Paladin. You're gonna roll, so Paladin will be one or two, Monk will be three or four. I would just like to state, I've not gotten to play with the character I've wanted to play with. Yet. Yeah. So hopefully you get Paladin. You didn't. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Jeffrey, please tell us a little bit about the monk. I am the calm before the storm. The monk is a master in the art of chi. He can channel this ancient energy to absorb incoming attacks from his opponents. He can also use chi to unleash a maelstrom of pain. The monk is not only the calm before the storm, but the storm itself. Skadoosh. Paladin. To win with honor, purity, and righteousness is the only true victory. The Paladin's Sword of Righteousness strikes hard and true. Through faithful devotion, he is capable of celestial defense. The Paladin wades into battle assured that the Divine is with him and that victory is his sovereign right. All right, so roll for first. Me again? <sighs> Unbelievable. got a bunch of freaking helmets. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. What a start for the monk. Wow. Nothing. Second main phase. <laughs> I think I got it in there. <laughs> We're getting too ambitious. I don't think I did. That's funny. Yeah, nothing. All right, we just, a wash. <laughs> There's a wash. <laughs> As if the first turn never happened. Those sixes, whenever I see sixes, I'm like, I'm going for it. And it never works never out. Never works out. All right, here we go. Ooh, Ooh, three prayer see? hands. Jamie's got three sixes. I think I got to go for it. I think you do too. <laughs> I okay. just need one more prayer hand in order to be able to do something. <laughs> Nothing. It's, it's nothing. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. Unless you it's can nothing. adjust. You, oh, you have no CP. I have CP. no CP. Well. All right. Nothing again. Exciting. We're still at 50-50, by the way. <laughs> it's, in, it's pointless to go for it. I know, but wouldn't it feel good if you got it? Look at our look at our health. We're at forty nine. Like this is like <laughs> that's ridiculous. what I'm telling. These two are too good. Like they're too too righteous. I need some ninjas. I need some baddies. Yep, that's it. Okay, nothing again. It's a trap. Doing it. Actually, it's a trap for me, not for you. Even if I can get one more. Oh, that gives me something, so I'm fine. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! Hashtag blessed. Okay. Jamie got her ultimate. Go figure. Uh, all right. I gain blessing of divinity. I heal five, so I'm back up to 50. <clears throat> and I deal 10. This is why I don't play dice rollers with Jamie. I've never gotten the ultimate before. So just FYI, this 
a blessing of serenity. Divinity. divinity. If Jamie dies, she comes back with like one health. It's not good, people. I might go this entire tournament without winning a game. I know how I felt during Villainous. I need to do some serious damage to you, but I can't. You, you freaking... can't. I am blessed. Hashtag blessed. Yeah. I need an ultimate. Well, you almost got five of one thing. Oh, don't do anything for me, though. <laughs> And I will also be playing Blessed. Roll a dice. I die. I got a six. I gain three CP. You've rolled so many sixes. I know. We should be in Vegas now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Such a weird. <laughs> I have so much CP. <laughs> Shoot. Jamie's getting a little too cocky. <laughs> Don't think it matters. I will play this uh, one more time for one CP, uh, and I may perform an additional roll attempt up to five dice during my offensive roll. So. Just so everybody knows, I'm at 37 and Jeff is at 16. His defense is insane. 28 to 13. Oh, three, four, five, six. Look at that. I got a large straight. All right, so I will heal myself too. Oh, do you wanna change anything? Yes, make this one. So I have a three, four, five, six. I have a small straight. Wait, wait, yeah, right. I'll make this six. And nothing. Mini phase? I am surviving. Why though? Just let me kill no. you. <gasps> Just going for the ultimate, people. Oh! We got an ultimate, people. We did. Two ultimates. One game. In one game. Oh. Mine was a natural kay. ultimate though. Just one. Now we're cooking. 18, 13. Look at all these passives that I have here. All these evasives. I'm feeling good. Second main phase. Sorry. Jamie was afflicted by knockdown. So she had to spend two CP if she could and she couldn't, so she skips her offensive roll phase. All coming up monk now. How many are you hitting me for? Twelve. I will play a uh, better D. Because a player may perform an additional roll attempt of up to five dice, so I'll re-roll these two. So I <laughs> block three, so at 13 to 10. What a comeback for the kid. Doesn't My, even matter. how your demeanor changes <laughs> when you start to win. Bad time to try it. No, you go for it actually, you do it. You go for that ultimate. Nah. I'm here for it. Hmm. You have to go for it. <laughs> Didn't get it. Didn't get it, but four sixes do something, right? Yes. I will deal Lotus Strike, uh, and I'm gonna add two Chi. So seven undefendable. Undefendable? Wait, you didn't ask me if I wanted to change anything. Did you want to change anything? Yes. Sorry, you are correct. <laughs> Eight five. Eight five. I can't get through her defense. It's too much. You 
literally just need to breathe on me to kill me. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's a large straight. Sure is. Deal two, deal nine. Uh, the only th chance I have is if I can gain an invasive and then it yeah. evades, but. Deal two back to you. Those do nothing. That does nothing. That's it. Paladin has defeated the monk. <laughs> this is my redemption for villainous. So Paladin will be moving on to the next honestly, round. Honestly, not surprised. Honestly, thank goodness. Yeah, I've never really. I liked think the monk one. is my least favorite of the original set. All right, last matchup of season one, we have Pyromancer and Moon Elf, my two favorites. Two of Jamie's faves. Pyromancer will be one and two, Moon Elf will be three and four. You rolled the last one, right? I really want, I don't know, I want Moon Elf, I think. Got her. So Jeff will be Pyromancer and I will be Moon Elf. All right, Jeffrey, tell us a little bit about the Pyromancer, please. I just want to watch the world burn. Pyromancer has only one way to deal with her enemies. Swift, hot destruction. Even her defense is offensive. She's a glass cannon who deals massive amounts of damage, turning her foes to ash. Moon Elf, look deep into the moon, for victory lies there. The Moon Elf draws her energy from the light of the moon. Her exploding arrows can pierce even the toughest of armor when loosed from her giant long bow. Her quick and nimble stature makes her extremely hard to hit, and she picks off her targeted foes from the veil of the forest. She's amazing. Rolling. I have not won any of these rolls. You either. haven't. I guess you still haven't. Now, let's go. I'm going to say that. Might as well go for your ultimate, I guess. Oh, for you. Here we go again. Better not. Draw a card, gain a CP. I need to cool off. You need to calm down. You do okay. too bad. Right. So I will use my defensive roll. How much am I defending? Eight. So I don't prevent anything, but I hit you back for one. Is that good? 26 to 37. No. heated. Oh boy. One, two, four, five, six. Split. You may as well go for your ultimate. <laughs> Sometimes it works. What does that do for you, Jeffrey? I get nothing. Not true. Oh yeah. Honest to goodness, if All I right. wasn't here, what would, would you, you like to? Uh, I would have noticed it eventually. Would you like to change anything? Yes. I will select one of your dice and force you to re-roll it. One. This one? No. The six. So I haven't uh, gained the Fiery Mastery yet. Okay, does that do anything for you now? I don't think so. No. Uh, think shame. Real shame. Okay. Twenty-one. I am at twenty-two. <laughs> Whoa! Me too. <laughs> so close. This this has the potential of ending at the same time. I know. May as well go for your ultimate. I'm gonna do combustion to gain one fire mastery token. Uh -huh. And then I can remove up to four and deal three undefendable per token. Three, six, nine. Moon Elf to move on. Finally! I died. You don't, wait, you can use cards. I have nothing. Or abilities. I have no cards. I have nothing. 
Well, my friends, Pyromancer is moving on to the next round. I'm not mad. I'm just, just disappointed. disappointed. That's a heavyweight bout right there. Yeah, these two I think are such a good matchup. It's like just if you're playing firepower. It's just offense, offense, offense. Now, usually I find when I play Moon Elf, I usually get more like blocks. Mm -hmm. I didn't roll like any feats. All right, that is a wrap up for season one. We're going to come back for season two matchups. All right, we are moving on to the season two side of the bracket. And the first matchup is going to be Tactician versus Cursed. Pirate. Indeed. For the tactician, it will be a dice roll one or two, curse pirate three or four. Jeffrey, do the honors, please. I don't know who I want in this matchup. I know exactly who I want in this matchup. Well, you want curse pirate. Of course I do. I love her. So one or two is tactician? Yep. <sighs> Shoot. Up against a wall, up against a wall. I did it all for them. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. She's a stone cold stunner. Beautiful. She's beautiful. And she's awesome to be. Jeffrey, tell us a little bit more about the Cursed Pirate, please. Whatever it takes, the booty will be mine. Her passion for adventure in the Seven Seas has won her riches untold. Unfortunately, her exploits have also won her a curse so dire that her life hangs in the balance. To confront the soul-splitting fury of the Cursed Pirate will likely result in a one-way trip to Davy Jones' locker. Tactician. All I survey, I command. The tactician surveys the battlefield with assurance and calm, confident that there is no foe greater than he. From atop the higher ground, he claims victory by asserting absolute control over all he sees. Let's see if I can up. win one of these. Wait, I gotta do this. I think I like going second. Who said the first time you roll a six? Yay! Gained one cursed doubloon. Sounds like you're saying cursed balloon. Doubloon. We playing Libertalia? Yeah, that balloon. I'm gonna spend three, down to four CP to give you a parlay. Parlay. Oh, parlay. Deal no damage when attacking. A player afflicted with parlay may not deal any damage as a result of their offensive roll phase, although other effects may still apply at the conclusion of the roll phase from this token. That's fine, I got other stuff to do. Okay, uh, roll. Do you really have more cards? I will increase or decrease any die by the value of one. I'll do walk the plank. Walk the plank. I'm gonna steal a CP from you. You need to do more pirate voices. I'm down to 37. Me too. Mm -hmm. I lose a cursed doubloon. Yikes. Yikes. I don't want to turn yet. Turn. Turn. Well, if I turn. You turn. You die. I guess we're both gonna be. Parlay. Hmm. Oh, well, you like put them in my face like For they're computer? public knowledge. Take it. Who needs it? Who needs it? Not me. Second main phase. Me. To me. To you. Draw a card. Gain a CP. To you. To me. A very merry birthday to you. To me. Okay. Chose an opponent, so I gain one and lose one. What? Stop! Taking my stuff, you freaking pirate! And then I'm gonna pay 2 CP to remove all status effect tokens from a chosen player. I'll choose you. That's rude. <laughs> I was gonna do stuff with them. <laughs> you should be singing Pirates of the Caribbean song. I don't know it. You do know it. You already did that thing, Blake. I know, I've done that every time. Change I'm just a freaking record. I'm trying to determine if I wanna do it again. You I wanna don't. get I wanna get some more cursed doubloons if I can. Get them balloons out of here. You should go for your ultimate. Got a 
coming after you, pirate. Ooh. One, two. You, she does this every time. She's like, ooh, when she has nothing. <laughs> I do too have something. May as well roll this whilst we're at it. Ooh. That's nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's also nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to do Profiteer 2. Would you like to change anything? Mm -hmm. Nope, didn't think so. All right, gain 2, tactical advantage. Ba -bow. Um, And then I roll a die. Then I do what it says. Ooh, I draw a card. Ugh. Then immediately begin an additional offensive roll phase. That's so fun! That's brutal. Okay. Offensive roll phase! Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I could go for the ultimate since it's just. No, I shouldn't. Oh, sorry. Uh, end of my phase, I should have lost a doubloon. Uh, yeah. I gotta do it. I gotta just go for it, right? Just going for the ultimate. Oh! Wait, wait! Do you have the six? Girl, you know I got it! Alright. Damn I'm it! <laughs> I'm spending one to change this to a six, which means, my friend, we've got another ultimate! Woo, woo, woo! Higher ground. Ah, all right. Inflict targeted. Bop. And constrict. Boop. Ah, increase tactical advantage stack limit by one. So now I can have six. Then gain the max advantage. So two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And then deal 12 undefendable damage. War. 12? What is it good for? Absolutely. 25. Nothing. No cursed balloons to pay. I am now flipping. Oh, he's cursed. To the cursed part side. Yar. Just as an update, I am currently at 26 health and Jeff is at 25. I'm at 16, Jeff's at 11. I turned too early. Hello, puppet. Uh, I need to lose four, so I'm down to one. Oh, did I just hit you with six? Did yeah. you take your plus two because you're targeted? I did not. You're dead. I'm dead. Ah! Tactician, Tactician has one. Tactician has one. I'm a little sad. I really wanted to see the cursed pirate go on. I, th I, sh I shouldn't have turned. Tactician, my friends, we'll be moving on to the next round of the bracket. Okay, second matchup of season two. We have Huntress versus Seraph. I never know if I'm saying it right. Indubitably. Huntress will be one, two, and Seraph will be three, four. All right, here we go. It's a two. Huntress is mine. That's good because she comes with a kitty. Seraph has no quote. To look into the face of the Seraph is to gaze upon the hand of God. Her blades are infused with holy energy designed to cut evil from the earth. Her crystal wings carry her above the battlefield where her brilliant light blinds all who do not avert their gaze. Humble yourself before her holy presence or die. Whoa, that's intense. actually intense. Huntress. Two are better than one in life and in battle. Rescued as an infant by Nira, a female saber-toothed tiger, the huntress was taken in as if she was Nira's own cub. Their bond is beyond that of a human to her pet. They are connected soul to soul. The ferocity and agility with which they fight intimidates all who would dare to challenge them. Big difference with the huntress is that she also has Nira. An annoying um, cat. <laughs> Nira has five health to start, and basically you're able to give damage to Nira instead of taking it yourself. I have the strength of a woman and a tiger. I've rolled ones and twos. Yeah, you sure have. I'm just reading my cards. Oh, 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 four, four, six. <laughs> a two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is, oh, and I just upgraded that, isn't it? Oh, how convenient. <laughs> That's convenient. Oh. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to use Glorious. I gain flight and then deal six damage. Six. So. So if one of these is a six, ignore all incoming damage. So you're bleed. I'm bleeding. All right. I'm bleeding. And I'm at 38 and Jeffrey is at 28. Second bleed. Oh, you're bleeding. Like, come on. How long have I had that? Forever. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna, that was loud on the microphone. <laughs> Another <laughs> ultimate. Crazy. I gained flight. Uh, holy Presence and Blessing of Divinity, and then 13 Undefendable Damage. Would you like to alter any dice? You have no CP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 24 to 20. Whew. Wait, are you hashtag blessed now? I am blessed. Ugh. <coughs> I just choked. 23, 19. 2319! We have a 2319! Do you know what that's from? Yeah. It's from Monsters Inc. I feel like that should say smite. What does it say? Smote. Smote. Yeah, I smote you. It's smite. Yeah, but after you smite at somebody, you smote them. I don't think that's <laughs> correct. Oh, Jamie, why are you doing this? So dumb. I don't think I have anything again. I just wanted to do savage. Because I'm savage. Eh. Classy, bougie, ratchet. I'm doing anything. Me? Yeah. Alright, gotta do bleed. It's my turn. Let's turn this boat around. I'm not bleeding no more. Ready, bleed! <laughs> Uh, bleed. You still bleeding, eh? Uh, I gain flight, I inflict blinding light, and I deal nine damage. I'm going to attempt to use flight. If I roll a six, it becomes undefendable. Doesn't matter. I can't defend it anyway. It's, so it's not undefendable? It is not undefendable. Uh, no, it is not undefendable. Well, guess what, Saka? I freaking hit you back for four. I died. Huntress has been defeated. Aww. All right, Seraph will be moving on. She's tough. To the next round. Take back your stupid light. Killed my cat. Our next matchup is going to be between... Vampire Lord and Gunslinger. Genslinger. If you hear us refer to as Genslinger, it's a New Girl joke. Yes. And from you, New Girl. You should get it. You should watch New Girl. This is an interesting one. So I'm playing on the Vampire Lord mat. And I think Vampire Lord's probably my favorite from season two. Jamie also really likes Gunslinger. I do. So, so <sighs> one to Vamp two. Vampire Lord will be one to two. Two and Gunslinger will be three, four. Ah! Yes! Excelsior. Ooh, look at all these green tokens, Jamie. I wish I can do the green. Does anybody know the used? Is anybody an emo kid like me? <laughs> I know that song. Of course you do, because you're an emo kid. Please tell us what the Vampire Lord is about. Only victory is sweeter than blood. Gross. The Vampire Lord's power paralyzes even the bravest fighter. No combatant is more vicious. Her rending claws will leave her foes bloody and hemorrhaging. Attempting to resist her mesmerizing gaze or overcome her powerful blood magic will prove deadly for any foolish enough to oppose her. Yuck. All right, Gunslinger. 
The gun is mightier than all of you. Driven by the ruin brought to her family, the gunslinger now spends her life pursuing all those who are vile and corrupt within the world. Each time she deftly reloads her twin pistol, she takes one step closer to vengeance. Come on, gunslinger. <laughs> then Jeff will say, I actually kind of like Green Second. I actually kind of like Green Second. I do. Three, four, five, six. That's a large straight, friends. All right. Um, fan the hammer. Gain two evasive. Bop, bop. And deal seven damage. Would you like to change anything? Oh, actually. I don't think you want to. It's not very vampire. A vampire would just take it. Mm, you know what, actually? Yeah. <laughs> After targeting an opponent, you duel. This is my favorite part about gunslingers. We duel. At dawn, we duel. Or at dusk, I don't know when they usually do it. After targeting an opponent, you each roll one die. If your roll is equal to or greater, then I deal da uh, seven damage, otherwise I only deal five. Duel. Vampire. Okay, so I just deal five. Okay. <laughs> uh, I hate the little, like, I salad finger hands. I love them. On those two, I inflict bleed. Ugh, here we go again. And then that's it. To look to see what you just did. I <laughs> have 59. Let's do this. Let's play a little roulette. Choose a player. I'll pick. Wait. I'll pick you. I want to make sure it wasn't like a good thing. And then roll a die. I inflict bounty. Attack. Whoa, Yahtzee. So oh, I am it. hitting you for five, and I will spend my yep. oops, my reload. I will roll a die. Oh, and I will add three. So five, six, seven, eight. Reroll this twice. Okay. Whole hand. Do you want to change anything? No. I'm going to cast Gouge. I'm going to deal seven damage. And on four of a kind, I gain a blood power. I'm actually going to spend the four, and I can heal equal to the amount of damage I successfully dealt this roll phase. I can do. I don't know why you keep. I don't know. I want to try different things. There's nothing I can do. You keep chasing that ultimate. Nothing? No, it feels so good when you get the ultimate. Because you me? get to go, woo! To me? This is ridiculous. This is like you playing the monk. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing. I don't even know. Like, what do I do? I can't do anything. Ah! Come on, gunslinger! Terrible one with those guns. She's CP. like a stormtrooper. Can't hit anything. Duel! Yes! Okay, I... I'm actually gonna choose to... Ooh. I'll just take... Okay. I can do, or do you want to change anything? Probably. Uh, what are you doing? Well, I'm not telling you. I got options. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You have a short straight. Yeah. It's a short straight. Small straight. You know what? Yeah. I can't. Good. Okay, so I do have options, Jeffrey. I can either deal. Five yeah. damage, we can do a showdown. So you know that's definitely what I'm picking, because that sounds fun. All right, roll a die. Yes. Okay, so mine was higher. I deal seven damage plus one, eight plus 10. So 10 total. Gunslinger. So 10, 11, 12, so 12. She swings, man. I'm so I'm Cowboy so dance, upset. cowboy dance, cowboy dance. It's 
Samesies. Another ultimate. We have an ultimate. Search your deck for any one card, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. I gain two blood power, but I can only gain one. And then I'm going to use the four to gain the damage dealt back its health. And I'm dealing ten on dependable damage. Ten. The only thing you can do... I can do anything. I don't have anything. I gain ten. Uh, my turn? You going for it? I gotta, at this point. This is gonna get me a whole lot of nothing. Oh. Can you do it? Change the value of any one die. Can you do anything? Ultimate. Fill them with lead. Gain evasive. Inflict. Bounty, but you already have one. And knock down. Mm -hmm. Deal 10 damage. If you spend a reload, which I will. So 13. 14. 14? Yeah. <laughs> Two ultimates back to back. <laughs> By the way, it's I have eight and Jeff has three. Eight to three. I'm gonna cast Ren and deal six damage and roll three dice. I need to add two to kill you. You also have evasive. Yep. All right. I've added two damage. And on this, I gain a blood power. I'm going to add two. So what are you trying to hit me for? 10 damage. Okay. So I will use my evasive. So if I get a one or a two, I take nothing. Yeah. Okay. So I can defend. So it's a duel. <laughs> I can re-roll up to two dice. Uh, it can be same die twice. <clears throat> okay, so I die. Did I get you? Yeah, you got me. Oh, wow. Gunslinger has been defeated. That was close. Vampire Lord will move on to the next round. That was close. Last matchup from season two's bracket. We have Artificer versus Samurai. Artificer will be one or two. Samurai will be three or four. One. I did not want that at all. I will be playing as the Artificer and Jeff will be playing as a Samurai. Jeff, tell us a little bit about Samurai. I know only honor and shame. There is no middle ground. Driven by an endless pursuit of honor, the samurai will stop at nothing to drive all who are not worthy from his sight. He marks with shame those who are small, petty, and insignificant. In the end, the shameful must put to the sword, even if this means taking his own life. Very intense. Artificer, the probability of your demise is written in the schematics. Let me show you. To underestimate the artificer is to invite destruction by a cold and calculated robotic assault. His deranged love for metallic tools of destruction is second only to his desire to see all combatants reduced to nothing. Here we go. Oh. There you are, Jeffrey. If you, Look at that. If you complain about it enough, it will happen. I don't want to go first. I like going second. I spend four synth to inflict a nanite on a chosen opponent. And I choose you, Jeff. Go for everything dies. What is it with the gears, man? I'm going to do massive, mass immune, mass immune, mass immune. Deal seven damage and roll four dice. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, confident. seven, eight, nine. I'm right. at 25 and Jeff is at 44. Eureka! Game three, six. It cent. is actually called Eureka. <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. <laughs> On this, I give you a shame token. Stop shaming me. It's not and... nice. 
Oh my god, what's with You've the You've been floors? getting a lot of them years. All right, I will spend one CP to use samesies, and I will turn that into a six. Mm -hmm. So I will use overclock, inflict, and nanite to deal six undefendable damage, then activate up to two different bots. I'll activate shock bot, which is another three, so that is six, seven, eight, nine, then the three. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm detonating the nan nanite. So, so five, five six, three. seven, eight. I'm at nine health. I am at 26. Ooh. Two shame. Nine damage. I am dead. <laughs> I have no way to defend. Okay. I'm inflicting one damage to you. I gained three sin. Just like that. Just as quick as he was up. He was down, he was level. That's a tough one. Artificer's very tough. a lot tough. going on, man. So, Samurai is moving on to the final round. And that is the end of the outside of the bracket. That is the end. I, don't, I love that. The first round. I love that you keep calling it the outside of the bracket. Yeah. The first round. The shell. First round of the bracket. The first round. The shell. The sweet 16. <laughs> the winter jacket. Is there 16 players? Yeah. The sweet 16. 16. So that is the end of the first round of our Dice Throne March Madness brackets. First round. So we've got four, no, what do we have moving in? Eight characters. Eight characters, four matchups that are going to be moving on. So our next video is going to be all of the inside of the, the inside bits of the bracket. You know what I mean? And then the final video is going to be just the championship game. So that is all that we have for today. I'll be interested to know how your brackets went for the first round. Mm -hmm. Did you make all of these predictions correctly? Are you feeling confident about winning the grand prize? You know, how confident do you feel? Because I gotta say, there's there were some upsets for me. What was your favorite matchup? I really liked Pyromancer and Moon Elf. That one was really fun. Yeah, because it's just won. I also really like Vampire Lawyer and, and Gunslinger, but also because I won. I don't know. I liked a lot of them. I can't even remember now. It's all a blur. Moon Elf is always my favorite. I'm disappointed that she didn't go through. Anyways, that's all that we have for you guys today. If you're interested in buying board games such as Dice Throne, you can do that in two ways. Actually, you could do that in a lot of ways. But one way you should do it is by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us here in Halifax, that is... Boardroom Game Cafe. Yes, it is. And the other way is you can go directly to the Dice Throne website. Mm. And not only can you buy the games there, you can also get the play mats, you can get the dice trays, you can get Dice Throne Adventures, and all of the fun things. They've got card sleeves, everything. All the things Dice All the room. things Dice Throne. Clothes. They do have clothes. Yeah, you name it. They got it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days.